Good morning. Every time I say that, it reminds me of the speech in Independence Day. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Back button focus, the idea is pretty simple that you separate focus and image capture. So focus, recompose, click. A very linear system that makes a lot of sense. I'm here to tell you why it's wrong. It's the most wrong in a fast paced to semi fast paced environment. If you're just standing on a street corner waiting for somebody to enter good light, it really doesn't matter what you use. Ergonomically, it's the worst. You're taking your finger off of the AF button, um, removing a point of stabilization from your camera. And when you put a finger on the camera and then take it off, you're subconsciously kind of pulling back from actively taking the image, which again is fine if you're an observer and you have time to wait at that street corner. But if you are in a fast paced photography environment, like a wedding, and as a wedding photographer, I have to actively be creating work all day. I also feel like back button autofocus is kind of left over from the time when your center AF point was way better than all your other AF points. Points, so to focus and recompose based on that made sense, but uh, there's also a little bit of an elitist mentality when it comes to a lot of the photographers that I know, the way that they present the fact that they shoot back button focus always makes it seem like they're more of a true photographer than I am because they shoot back button autofocus. So internally, maybe that's why I started to reject back button autofocus in the very beginning. Now that all autofocus points are actually really, really great, you can just put the AFC point on anyone's face and track them almost with 100% accuracy. So what is the solution instead of back button focusing? It is changing your AF on button to AFL, which is AF lock. And it's a much more organic process where you're focusing with the shutter and then holding the focus. So you're adding something and you're actively engaged in the scene rather than tapping something and removing yourself and kind of um, ruining the flow of energy. The flow of energy. So it's 2018, there's no reason to be photographing with back button focus anymore. If you're just learning now, um, don't worry about everybody that says that you need to do back button focusing in order to be a professional photographer. They are incorrect. So agree, disagree, post a comment below. Uh, thank you so much for everyone that's joined the Patreon. Um, a lot of people over the past couple days have joined. So new video every Monday on wedding photography, business, marketing, things that make you money. Um, I put all of my photography and editing content on YouTube, but I locked down all my advanced marketing secrets behind Patreon because I don't want those secrets out there all over the world because then they will become inefficient and useless, unfortunately. So thank you everyone that's joined and I'll see you on the next video.